Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. My name is Arisika SK Hidayat and here I'm going to present my presentation entitled The Articulators. So let's begin the presentation. And there is the definition of the organ of speech or the articulators. So the definition is the various organs of our mouth we use to produce speech sounds are called the organs of speech or speech organs. So speech organs or articulators produce the sound of language. Organs used to speech include lips, teeth, alveolar ridge, heart plate, volume or soft plate, tongue, pharynx, larynx, and nose. Next, uh, and those are the part of the of the articulators. And I will explain. The first is lips. The two lips serve for creating different sounds, mainly the labial and labial. For example, b, b, and b, m, w, w, and b, w. And the labiodental consonant sounds, for example, v, f, and v. And thus create an important part of the speech apertures. apertures. Next, teeth. The upper and lower teeth are used to produce a lot of speech sounds. To produce the dental, the tongue tip, the tongue tip is pushed between the upper and the lower front teeth. Dental, dental sounds, uh, for example, th, th, d, n, l. Jadi di sini tuh uh, lidah itu menyentuh, lidah itu menyentuh atas. Gigi, th. Uh, and to produce the labiodentals, the upper front, the upper front of teeth are brought into contact with the lower lip, and the labiodental sound is v, v, and v. Next is the third is tongue. The tongue is the most important articulator in the speech organs. It moves different ways in different shapes to produce speech sound. And tongue, tongue is divided into five parts, namely tip, tip, blade, front, back, and root. We can look in the picture. So next, the fourth is al alveolar ridge. The alveolar ridge includes includes the area between the upper front teeth and the hard palate. We can see in the picture. And to produce alveolar consonant sounds such as t, d, l, n, s, z, the alveolar ridge and the blade of the tongue are used. And for the sound of s and z, the air from the lungs continuously through the mouth, but the tongue is raised sufficiently, sufficiently close to the alveolar ridge to cause friction as the particularly blocks the air that pass. Jadi lidah itu mengangkat sehingga menutupi jalan keluarnya udara. Sehingga se itu termasuk alveolar ridge. Next, hard plate. Also known as the roof of the mouth. Roof of the mouth, the interaction between the tongue and the hard plate is essential in the formation of t d and j sound. So the, heart, the jadi lidahnya itu mengenai uh, bagian atas atau hard plate. D, D, and J. Next is the soft plate or volume. It should have holes forming that function during speech to separate the oral cavity or mouth from the nose in order to produce the oral speech sounds. Often in speech, the volume the volume is raised so that air cannot escape through the nose uh, when the k and g or velar consonants sound is produced. The tongue is in contact with the lower side of the velum. We can see in the picture, in this picture, jadi 
lidah itu belakang lidah itu back of the tongue atau belakang lidah itu mengenai belum sehingga akan menghasilkan suara ke and g seperti itu and next is paring paring is a tube above the larynx divided into in two at the top the back of the mouth and the beginning of the way through the nasal cavity or above the mouth behind the nose uh, the structure that hold the manipulates the vocal cords next larynx larynx uh, the private the vibration of the larynx can be detected while producing the sound z jadi uh, untuk larynx itu suara yang akan keluar itu adalah z karena ada di larynx z z seperti itu and next uh, jaws jaws are articulators because of their movement jaws don't make contact with any other articulate other articulators articulators but we can find the teeth attached to the jaw so here the teeth attached to the jaw and the last is nose or nasal nasal sounds produce, produced when the volume is lowered so the air escapes not only through the mouth but also the nose so for example from m m n n and m n the sounds like that and so those are my explanation about the articulators uh, sorry for many for any mistakes so thank you very much wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh